This is a video about perceptual control theory and stepping stones will be Goldilocks, Aristotle and balance. The resource I'm using is by William T. Powers in his book, Behavior, the Control of Perception from 2005. His original work was from the early 70s. Starting off with Goldilocks and the Three Bears, the fairy tale goes that the Three Bears lived in a home out in the forest. And along comes juvenile delinquent uh, Goldilocks who enters the house uninvited and immediately makes herself at home. There are three bowls of porridge. <clears throat> First one though was too hot. Second one was too cold. Third one was just right and Goldilocks ate it all up. And she continued her rampage in the living room. She first started off on Papa Bear's chair, which was too hard. Tried out Mama Bear's chair, that was too soft. And finally ended up in Baby Bear's chair, which was just right. And then she broke it. So looking at Goldilocks, what happened was she made a decision that something was too hot, another thing was too cold, and then something in the middle was just right. With the chairs, the same thing, one was too hard, one was too soft, and the last one was just right. So what was going on here with Goldilocks is that she was basically following what Aristotle said. Therefore, three conditions, two are vices, one of excess and the other deficiency, and there's one virtue, the mean. And yes, you're right. That's talking like a Martian. So Goldilocks doesn't like that description. Let's have another description. How about avoid extremes, too hot and too cold are extremes, and moderation in all things. Now, that last phrase is often associated with Aristotle. Yeah, Goldilocks likes that. So how about your body? It also works the same way. If your body is too hot, then it starts sweating to cool down. If your body is too cold, it starts shivering to warm up. So even though what's just right in between is a temperature and actually for your body is not just temperature it's a variety of things that have to be just right and it's called homeostasis and that was described by walter cannon as a means uh, a condition a condition which may vary but which is relatively constant yeah, you're right, Goldilocks. We're talking like Martians again. Okay, how about something simpler? How about balance? Your body seeks internal balance while avoiding extreme. Yeah, Goldilocks likes that. Okay, so our stepping stones of Goldilocks, Aristotle, and balance have been completed. Now let's put them into action. Whether you live in a house or a building, like an apartment building or a condo, there's almost invariably a thermostat. A thermostat is to control temperature. And it's called, as a result, a control system. Now we set it for 72 degrees, and that becomes what's called the set point or reference signal. And it, the thermostat is, uh, supposed to keep that temperature right at 72 degrees. No changes are allowed. Okay. So with 72 degrees as our target, the control system resists changes to the set point. If it goes up or goes down, it's going to compensate and enact whatever technology we've got connected to adjust the temperature. So the thermostat controls the temperature and it does so using a feedback loop. 
uh, feedback loop. Yeah, Goldilocks, you're right. Martians again. All right, well, let's try this with an example. Let's say the temperature goes up to 80 degrees. Now it's much hotter than what the thermostat was set to. So the thermostat turns on the air conditioning to cool things down. And eventually it gets back down to 72 degrees. And at that point, is it too hot? No, it's just right. So the thermostat turns off the air conditioning. How about the other direction? Let's say the temperature drops to 60. And now it's too cold. So the thermostat turns on the furnace. And the furnace warms things up. And eventually we get back to 72 degrees. And thermostat checks, is it too cold? And it, no, it's just right now. So it turns off the, the furnace. So it keeps doing that all day and all night long. It checks the temperature. If it's too cold, it turns on the furnace. Basically, it's doing this over and over and over again, all day and all night. Okay, so since it's doing this check for the temperature constantly, all day and all night, it's basically doing what's called looping through a process. So repeated loops um, it would be called a feedback loop. And it's looking for feedback to make sure the temperature is the same. It won't do anything unless temperature changes. So if the temperature goes up, it's going to turn on the air conditioning. If the temperature goes down, it's going to turn on the furnace. But the checks all other times, it will do nothing because it's set at 72 degrees in the house or the home is at 72 degrees. All right, 72 degrees, again, that's the set point or reference signal, and it's the goal or the target to be achieved by the thermostat. And this, this control is, again, for temperature control. But what if we want to have visual control? Temperature is not the only thing that we need to control in our lives. For visual control, we'll need something that uses eye-hand coordination. And a good example is driving a car. Now, the reference signal, the set point is to stay in your lane. All right, here's Goldilocks going down the road and she's looking ahead and seeing the highway and that's her reference signal. So if she happens to run off over on the right-hand side, now she's in danger. and She needs to compensate and bring the reference signal back into alignment. So that's what happens when she steers back to the left. So she works to have alignment of what she sees, the reference sig signal, which matches her target, which is her lane. If she drifts over to the left, and now she's crossed the yellow line, the same thing happens. She comes back to the original reference signal. So there's too far right, too far left. And this sounds familiar. It's like Goldilocks earlier. It's too hot, it's too cold, it's too hard, it's too soft. And once again, there's something in between which is just right. So you call this Goldilocks's rule, you can call this Aristotle's rule, but basically this is perceptual control theory. Perceptual control theory, just like the thermostat, it resists changes. And if there is a difference from the set point, the reference signal, the system will work to get you back to having that, that set point. Okay, Antonio Damasio, a professor of psychology and neuroscience, he says that you can imagine some parts of the central nervous system as a vast field of thermostat light detectors, and they react differently according to the set points of their reading scales. Yeah, this is Martian talk against Goldilocks. Okay, so let's 
use something like balance, whether you use Goldilocks just right or Aristotle's moderation or the idea of balance. Balance is the target of life. That's the set point, the reference signal. Your mind and body seek internal balance while avoiding extremes. Okay, most of the material in these presentations can be found in the book Reignite Your Creativity, Psychology of the Creative Mind, available on Amazon.com as a book or an ebook.